Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we are on a brand new world. Would you look at that? It's like a blank canvas. I can't wait to start building all of the bits and pieces that I have planned. And you know what? Because the scenery around here is so good, I think I'm going to set up my first house right in front of us. But there is a bit of a problem. I've been playing Minecraft for a very long time now, and in that time I have built a large number of houses. In fact, the whole process is becoming just a little bit boring now. So what I thought I would do is create a mechanism that will construct a house for me so then I can just sit back, relax and watch the machine do all of the hard work. Over here we've got ourselves a button. If I give it a press, you will see that the floor folds backwards and it will reveal just a little home that is going to pop up out of the ground ready for use as my little house. So there it is, here it comes, and boom. It's a nice little place, not particularly large, but I'm not too worried. One thing that I will warn you about though is that the house pets can be just a little bit bitey. So that's something to watch out for. But as you can see, if we head inside, it's got plenty of space. You can use a crafting bench, the bookshelf, and all that sort of thing. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. There's probably a large number of questions going through your head right now. Why are there loads of silverfish everywhere? Why did I get poisoned? All that sort of thing is going to be answered right now when we pop into my redstone testing world. One quick thing that I want to say before we begin is that for those of you who have been around my channel for a very long time now, you will remember that I did a self-building house around about two years ago. That whole machine was very slow and it used TNT to open up the floor, which I didn't particularly like, so what I thought I'd do is I'd head back to the drawing board and come up with a new design. And one thing that I will warn you about is that this one is ten times more complicated. There is tons of stuff going on, loads of different circuits that do various different things and I'm going to try my best to explain it in a little bit of detail so that you can get a rough idea of what's going on. First things first, the trapdoor mechanism and that is all of this compact wiring that you can see around the top here. This probably took the longest to do just because so much has to happen in a very short space of time and it took quite a lot of streamlining but as you can see I've disconnected it from the rest of the circuit so if we give it a button press you will see that it picks up all of the blocks and they are all pushed back to their respective positions making space for the house to come out of the ground. The rest of the bulk of the wiring is all of the block pushes. These are what push the house up and out of the ground. So they're a fairly essential part of all of the circuitry. So as you can see out the back here, we've got a six piston extender, which is going to push all of these blocks along and then upwards. So the blocks get pushed upwards, the house moves up, and then blocks come across like that, fill in the gap, and then get pushed upwards again. Now the total distance that we had to go was seven blocks. Now that's quite difficult, especially when you're working with pistons that have a 12 block limit on the amount of blocks that they can push. In fact, we were working so close to the edge that at one point I didn't think I was going to be able to build it. And finally, onto the silverfish. On the inside of the house, we've got a bunch of silverfish spawn blocks, and the reason that they're there is to make sure that the house keeps its shape, because otherwise, when it's being pushed by the pistons, if it didn't have anything on the inside of it, it would collapse in on itself, and it wouldn't look particularly good. So once it reaches the surface, we chuck in a splash potion of poison into this little pen here. All of these little guys begin to take damage, and all of their friends outside in the house begin to jump out of their blocks to send help, or something like that. But what it does mean is that it clears out the house, ready for use, and it all works wonderfully. Now of course, I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on this design. Sadly, it is way too big and way too complicated, and also it is a one-use thing. Once you hit that button, that is it. The house is there to stay. You can't retract it back into the ground. It is up there, standing proud. And it's a lovely house, but this is a very big machine, and it took me many hours to complete building it. But of course, there is a world download down in the description for anyone that wants to check out the redstone in a little bit more detail. I also have a plan to do a pop-up village type thing with various different pop-up buildings. Let me know down in the comment section if you would like to see that one. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for today. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.